So in this example, I'm going to use the GL function. Now this is a specialist tool for interrogating the chart of accounts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use GL and the keyword I want to use is balance because I'm going to try and find out the net change on a particular GL account code between two dates. So if I do equals so that Excel knows I'm doing a function or a formula, GL, which is the specific JET function I'm going to use, balance is the keyword, then I need to give it the GL account number I want it to interrogate, 8110, which is our cleaning expenses. Then I need to give it the dates I want it to work from two. So we work a demo data here. So 0101 of 18 is my start date. Put that in quotation marks, comma, and then my ending date will be the 31st of January 18. Again, in quotation marks, close the brackets. So what I've got is the, the GL function, the keyword balance, the GL account I'm going to try and interrogate, 8110, then the from date and the to date. If I press enter, it returns my value immediately of £173.74. That's the net change in that account. To double check this, I just jump into nav and I go up to the chart of accounts. Okay, if I make the advanced filter display, if I filter the accounts, so this is the 8000 range, so 8000 dot dot to 8999, just make things a bit easier to work with. So there's the account we're looking at. If I narrow the columns to make things a bit more visible. Is net change that we're, is of interest at the moment. We've got a net change figure because it's currently unfiltered, the same as the balance. However, if I go to the limit totals and I add in a date filter, which is a form of flow filter, and I say I want it to, to filter it to the dates we used before, so 010118 dot dot 310118, tab or enter to apply it. And you'll see that the net change now updated to the figure that we just got through Excel, 17374. So just as a recap, what we've got here is the GL function, which is our JET function, the keyword, which is balance, the GL account, which was 8110, and then our start dates and end dates, all that within a bracket. Notice that we didn't put the GL account number within quotation marks. That's a direct reference, but the keywords in quotation marks, as is the two dates.